Welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to use ClickSense session applications and discuss use cases that session applications can address. A session application is a ClickSense application created by a click engine in server memory only and never saved on server hard disk. This is a fully functional click application with visualizations, data, and reload capability. But it is created on the fly, on a user's request, and is attached to the active engine session of the user who requested to create it. Because of this, session application is available only for users who have requested it, and should contain only user-specific data. When a user session ends, for example, by the user logging out, then the session application and all related resources get flushed from the click server memory. So session applications can quickly load small amounts of data from very large data sources and enable a kind of live query to data sources where a user can reload the application with new query parameters. There are several big advantages of session apps, especially in the areas of security, performance, and scalability. Session apps are secured with standard click security rules. Only logged in users can access data and visualizations from a session app. Because a session app resides in memory only and click never saves it on hard disk, it is almost impossible to make a copy of such an application. This is very important in cases of sensitive data analysis. From a performance perspective, data reloads for session apps work faster. In the case of a standard click application, up to 80% of reload tasks are hard disk read-write operations. Without these, click can deliver applications to end users much faster. Also, when a user logs out, their user session terminates, and all resources are flushed from memory. This allows the click engine to allocate memory only for applications being used by active users. From a scalability perspective, with session apps, it is much easier to scale click horizontally. Session apps are rather small, so it is possible to set up many small servers for click engines and set up load balancing. Growing user populations and growing number of activities can easily be handled by adding an additional server with a click engine. Now let's discuss use cases for session applications. The most common are portal for external users, big data analysis, and security. The first use case is about a web-based portal for a large number of external users analyzing their own fresh data. For example, users who want to analyze mobile billing, credit card transactions, power consumption, workout statistics, or car tracking data. These are small and quickly changing data sets, and in most of these cases, users want to see only the latest records. Additionally, users don't check these data very frequently. On the other hand, data sources like billing systems are huge, and it doesn't make sense to load all data into click memory. Let's look at a sample smart dashboard application presenting energy consumption at home. The data comes from smart meters. When a user logs in, this web page creates a click session application, which issues a query to the data source and then presents the last week of energy consumption statistics. Users can change data ranges and reload the session application with a new data set, for example, last month. All the visualizations are being created on the fly using the Click Visualization API so the user can change the chart type. It is also possible to present data on third-party visualizations. For example, this table. Users can change the state of visualization. In this case, the user updates price per kilowatt and the total energy cost KPI gets recalculated. If users log out, the click engine destroys the session application and releases server memory. The second use case is big data analysis. In such cases, a user needs to make some selections on preloaded aggregated data 
and then generate a session application with a detailed data set. The session application can be reloaded many times by users, as this is a very fast process. Aggregated data sets can be visualized by a ClickSense application or other third-party visual objects as buttons or drop-down lists, presenting available data from big data source dimensions. The third use case is about security. More and more customers require secure access to data sources and to keep the user's context during the data loading process. A session application can pass user attributes to a data connection supporting single sign-on, and the user will be allowed to see only their own data. Also, many customers don't want to store sensitive data outside the original data source, and they accept the session app capability because the data is never saved on hard disk. Session app's full functionality was introduced in the ClickSense June 2017 release, and since this release, the capability is available as the Click Engine API and Capability API. These are two API functions that allow for empty session application creation or to create a session app from an existing source Click application. In both cases, the newly created session app must be reloaded, so the end user must have proper privileges to use data connections. The name of the session app is always generated by the Click Engine and cannot be changed. In an empty session app, the load script must be set by the app API. Visualization objects must be created with the Click Visualization API, or data from this application may be presented on third-party visualizations. In the case of a session app created from a template, existing template visualizations can be reused. Session apps can be generated client-side with the Capability API or server-side with the Click Engine API and Enigma.js. From an architecture perspective, session apps work very similarly to regular Click applications. The end user must be authenticated in Click first, and then if a user session with ClickSense is opened, the user can request to create a session application. Then the Click Engine creates the session application, reloads it using data connections, and makes it available to the end user. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. To read more about session applications, please visit the Click Help website by navigating to the link presented on this slide and search for Creating Apps on the Fly. Thank you.